guys, what's up? In this video, we're going to be creating this drop down interaction that you see in front of you, where you can hover over a uh, an element, and you can also go down and hover over the drop down or the overlay that appears while you're hovering over this particular thing. And if you hover out of this, then it closes and it works for components that are placed side by side as well. So I can go here, this works, but if I, let's say, mouse over this to this other drop down, then that drop down is also going to work. So let's have a look at it. Guys, what's up? In this video, I want to talk about a comment that I recently got on one of my YouTube videos, which was basically saying something like this, that we that she needs a component, Sarah, that if she hovers over this particular drop down, this drop down should appear. But if she hovers out, obviously it should disappear. But if a person is hovering over this particular overlay, then it should not disappear and it should only disappear if a person hovers out of this particular overlay. So obviously right now, if you ba basically have a simple hover interaction and if I mouse over it, it's not going to work. So let's see how do you actually achieve something like this. So imagine I'm just going to go ahead and actually create, take our button from here, take this drop down button and let me just make this whole thing a bit lighter so you guys can see it. Okay, let's take our component from here as well. This is the menu component. And I can go ahead and I can detach this particular button or even if I don't want to detach it, I can just go ahead and remove this variant interaction. Also remove this particular thing that I have here and also create the other, which is this open state where the user just goes ahead and has the drop down that's upside down. Um, so what we want to do is we want to create a component here for first of all. So I'm going to create a frame around this. I can create an auto layout as well. It doesn't really matter. And I can say this particular frame is going to be actually, let's just create an auto layout. So it works with scaling text as well. So I'm going to create an auto layout here. As you can see, I'm just going to give this a hug content and I'm going to make this zero padding zero. And very similarly, I'm going to create a hug content here and uh, or a frame here and I'm going to make this padding zero but I also have to make it hug content that's that now what we want to do is when I hover over this I want you to go here but obviously for that I need to create a component so I'm going to say Sarah's drop down you get the privilege of having a component in, in your name and we're going to say closed and very similarly we're going to create the open state here and I'm going to say this is going to be open Okay, now obviously we want this particular whole thing to be in that open state as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and include that. We don't want it positioned um, uh, relatively, so we can absolute it and I can go ahead and make sure that this is also hug container. So obviously this is also scaling. Now once I've done that, I'm just gonna select both of these components and combine them as variants. Uh, have an interaction here where I say when I mouse enter this, I want you to show this. When I mouse leave this, I want you to hide it. So mouse enter, mouse leave. And if I now go ahead and actually show how this works, I'm just gonna place this here. As you can see, if I mouse entering this, this is working. If I mouse out, it's leaving. So all of that is perfectly fine, it's working. Uh, for some reason, the drop down icon is not resetting. So since the drop down, uh, since the icon is not returning to its position, I'm just going to go ahead and detach this button because I don't have the time to go ahead and actually have a look at why this button is not working in untitled UI. But hopefully this actually helps you give you the thing that you want. One other thing that I can show you is obviously if you hover over or if you have items placed side by side, those should work as well. So if I hover over this, as you can see, this is working. If I hover over this one, as you can see, it's not working. Now, why is this working and why is this not working? Well, the reason for that is because first of all, I did not copy the component. So let me just copy that component. So here, mouse over, go here, that's working, go here, that's working. So all three are gonna work independently. Now it's really important that when you actually are working, make sure that items are not placed below because if these are placed below, like for example, if I place them below, it's not gonna work because this layer, the first layer is on top of the second layer. So it's not gonna work. So you need to maintain that position. So this is one or drop down one, this is drop down two, this is drop down three. So obviously the topmost one needs to be uh, or after because obviously then it wouldn't work. So as you can see now it's working, both of all of them are working. 
Uh, now, many people would end the video right there because that's pretty much done. But sometimes when you have things in an auto layout, like for example, I just went ahead and included this particular thing in an auto layout. And let me just go ahead and actually have another thing here. So now this whole thing is an auto layout and now things are getting messy. So the, the way to fix that, obviously there are multiple ways. One way to fix that would be is we can go ahead and we can say that this whole thing, for example, is not going to be as big. It's going to be as big as it previously was. So I'm just going to say this is going to be hug content. This is going to be hug content. So now if I hover over this, as you can see, both of these things would be working fine, but we lose the functionality that we previously had. So in order to fix that, what we can do is we can say that if a person mouses out of this particular thing or this thing separately. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to delete the mouse leave. So mouse leave is deleted and mouse enter. What is this? Okay. Let me just actually have a look at it. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go onto this particular button. And what we can do is we can go ahead and actually create a rectangle here. So rectangle here, let's just go ahead and first of all, create a rectangle. So this is our rectangle, the first rectangle. Let me just go ahead and move this here so you guys can see it. Also, let me just make it red so you guys can see it even more. So we have this rectangle. I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it. Let's make it large like this and obviously slightly less from the top. Now what we're going to do is we can obviously go ahead and make this a union selection. So I'm going to say this is going to be a union and on this union, I want you to have a mouse leave. So I'm going to say the mouse leave is going to be on this and that should be pretty much it. So we have the mouse leave. Let's just go ahead and actually move this slightly back. Is this not absolute? Let me just actually, this isn't absolute, which is why it was messing up things. So now if we have a look at it, hover, and if we hover out, that's working. We go to the other one that's working as well. And everything should be working. Obviously we can hover, we can still hover over these things so that the hover behavior on these elements, just because we're mouse outing of this does not mess it up. And we have both of these things working in an auto layout and it doesn't mess things up. So obviously we can now go ahead and remove the fill. We don't need the fill. So all of this is working. All of this is working. Both of these things are working. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.